This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. In his article, Straub advises how to respond to one's peers' writings. In the introduction, the author gives an account of the most typical scenario of such an analysis and remarks that this scenario is utterly wrong. Further, Straub divides his paper into several sections, including suggestions on treating oneself as a responder, setting objectives, beginning the process of responding and making comments. Apart from that, the author explains how responders should sound, how they should place their comments, and what the general character of their responses should be like. Finally, Straub advises that it is necessary to approach the response depending on what one knows about the author. Straub emphasizes the significance of being honest when evaluating others' works. He notes that while it is necessary to sound polite, it is unacceptable to overestimate one's peer. Under such circumstances, a student will think too much about his or her writing and will not spend extra time revising it, which may lead to receiving a bad grade. A helpful method in the process of responding is understanding one's purpose. Straub notes that responders should always keep in mind that they are not editors, teachers, or, most of all, writers. Their major task is to understand what they are reading and give suggestions on how a writer could improve it. Straub pays particular attention to explaining the beginning of the responding process. He notes how crucial it is to keep in mind the following factors before commencing to read, the type of the assignment, the writer's goals and interests, the strategies analyzed in the class, and the stage of drafting. Thinking of all these issues will help the reader focus on the most important elements of the paper he or she is analyzing. Several paragraphs of the article are dedicated to commenting. Straub advises choosing several issues that are worth commenting on rather than trying to comment on everything at the same time. When considering the position of comments, the author finds it useful to combine notes on the margins with endnotes. Comments on the margins help to give one's immediate and specific feedback. Meanwhile, ending notes suggest an overall perspective on the response. The voice of the responder is considered a crucial element of the whole evaluation process. Thus, it is recommended not to sound too judgmental or critical. Straub reiterates that the responder should operate as an advisor and a friend rather than a critic. The most crucial thing is to be supportive even though one may sound demanding. Straub pays particular attention to the length of comments, he advises not to be stingy and to make proper notes. By doing so, a responder will help the writer to understand what the problem is and to see how it might be corrected. When considering the amount of criticism and praise, Straub mentions that both areas should be equally reflected. Also, he remarks that it is necessary to be sincere and specific. Finally, the author explains how responders should shape their feedback based on their knowledge of the writer. If one knows that a person is too arrogant or too shy, it is necessary to provide extra challenge or encouragement in the evaluation. Responding is a demanding task, and it is crucial to approach it with the appropriate level of responsibility and attention to make it truly useful. If you want to find more works like this essay on Richard Straub, really responding to other students' writing, head over to ivypanda.com. It has a collection of free samples with thousands of submissions covering virtually all academic subjects. No registration required to access it.